Hello guys, in this video I'd like to share with you how to find all filters in the Spring security filter chain for testing, debugging and development purposes. I am Nam Haming at CodeJava.net. So in this video you will see three different ways to find all filters in the Spring security filter chain. In the first way, just look at the logs in the console of the running application. And in the second way, use the enable web security annotation in the configuration class. And in the third way, I will show you how to write some code to list or spring security filters programmatically. You see, I have a Java Spring project that you see is Spring security here in Spring 2 Suite IDE. And in the simplest way to find all Spring security filters, just start the application and look at the logs in the application console. Here, you see, you see the line uh, that shows default security filter chain will secure any request with a list of filters in the configure Spring security filter chain and you can see it prints a list of filters that are registered in the Spring security filter chain you can see disable in code url filter web async manager intuition filter security context holder filter header writer filter cost filter logger filter request catch a web filter and so on and uh, it shows the filters in the order they are registered in the Spring security filter chain and you can see that is a little bit difficult to read because it prints the fully qualified name of the filter classes you see so this is the simplest way to know the exact names of the filters in a running Spring application, just look at the logs messages in the application console. You see, default security filter chain will secure any request and followed by a list of uh, currently uh, registered uh, filters in the chain. And in the second way, if you uh, don't see any uh, information about the filters in the Spring security filter chain in the console, you can uh, add a web security, enable web security annotation in a configuration class in the project. Uh, for example, in this project, I have the security config class. It is a configuration class. So use the annotation enable web security with the attribute debug equal to very simple and then, and then uh, start the application. Okay, the application the application has started. And you can see security debugging is enabled, but you don't see any list of the filters in the Spring security filter chain. So uh, let's make the first request to this application. You can see this application I have student API controller. This is a base URI. So I open a new uh, command prompt. And use the curl command localhost port number 8080 slash API slash student. Just make a first request to the server. Okay, and then in the console, it uh, prints the security filter chain, a list of filters that are registered in the chain like this. You see, Disable in code URL filter, web async manager integration filter, and so on. So this uh, list gives you nice information about the currently 
arrest the filters in the running application. It is uh, much more readable, readable than the list uh, in the first way, you see. Okay, so in the second way, just add the annotation. Enable, sorry, enable web security with the attribute debug equal to in a configuration class like this, very simple. So you can know the exact list of filters in the security filter chain. And not that this list may vary uh, depending on the security configuration of the application. And in the third way to find all filters in the Spring Security Filter chain, let me show you how to write some code that will list all filters in the Spring Security Filter chain programmatically. So in this project, we can create a new Java class, uh, something like this. Security Filters Printer. And uh, have this class implement the interface command line runner in Spring Framework so it uh, will execute the, the run method uh, when the application starts okay and mark this class as a component okay and in the security config configuration class you can see uh, the security filter chain method returns an object of type security filter chain so we can uh, auto write a reference of security filter chain here yeah, filter chain like this and then in the run method we can uh, access uh, the object of type security filter chain like this filter chain get filters it returns a list of filters and we can iterate through each element in this list using the for each method filter system dot and not print line we just print the name of each filter in the chain very simple filter get class get simple name very simple and start the application You see the application has started and you can see it prints all the filters that are registered in the Spring Security Filter chain here. And disable in code URL filter, web async manager integration filter and so on. And the last filter in the chain is authorization filter. So this is the third way, uh, programmatic way to uh, find all filters in the Spring Security Filter chain, just create a component class like this, implement the command line runner interface, and write the code in the run method like this. Very simple, right? All right, so far you have seen three different ways to file all filters in the Spring Security Filter chain in the running Spring Boot application for the testing, debugging, on development purposes. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.